Hi, uh, to all the musicians, producers, and engineers in Korea. Uh, my name is Ichi from Universal Audio. Uh, I'm on kind of an Asia tour after the Music Mesa. Hopefully, uh, show you guys all the things that our new product Apollo can do. Apollo we uh, announced this at NAM in January and uh, we started shipping at Music Mesa. Uh, it's been a, a really exciting launch. Everybody's very excited about this product. Um, and, but before I go into Apollo, um, I usually like to start demonstrations with our history uh, because we are a very unique company. We're very old. Um, uh, we're from the 50s. So our company has been making equipment for the studio since the 1950s. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to run you through a quick history of UA. Okay. Universal Audio's name is synonymous with heritage and quality. Founded in the 1950s by Bill Putnam Sr., UA was a natural extension of his unparalleled success as a recording engineer, studio designer, and inventor. The studios he designed and operated were acclaimed for their distinctive sound and provided a fertile environment for his innovations and experiments. Putnam started three audio manufacturing companies in his career, Universal Audio, Studio Electronics, and UREI. All three built products that remain widely used decades after their introduction, including the ubiquitous LA-2A and 1176. One way I think about my father's history in the recording industry and his history in starting Universal Audio and the trajectory he took Universal Audio on is being really part and parcel to the move from capturing sound to shaping sound. In 1999, Bill Jr. and James Putnam relaunched Universal Audio with these two goals. First, reproduce classic analog recording equipment designed by their late father and his colleagues, and second, research and design new recording tools in the spirit of vintage analog technologies. Universal Audio's rebirth from humble beginnings in Bill Putnam Jr.'s garage to a 20,000 square foot facility in six years is a testament to the fulfillment of these goals. When we recreate these pieces of analog equipment, we make these just like the, they were made back then, really you know, sticking with the, um, the character and soul that was imparted on these units back in the days that they were made. Today, Universal Audio is bridging the worlds of vintage analog and DSP technology in a creative atmosphere where musicians, analog designers, and DSP engineers intermingle and exchange ideas every day. Digital or analog, UA remains committed to the hand-built ideal that has been forgotten by most audio manufacturers. Now recognized as the leaders of vintage audio DSP modeling, as well as true analog classics, Universal Audio is proud to offer a full range of audio production hardware and software products that are winning the hearts and ears of producers and engineers worldwide. So it took us a long time to get here. Yeah? But the feeling is the same. We're, we're taking the feeling. Uh, what we want to do is the same feeling that Bill Putnam Sr. had when he made Reverb, when he made Send a Return, when he made uh, Studios. So we want to push the market forward. This has been a 10-year dream of Bill Putnam Jr.'s. Uh, we want to combine. So we think this is uh, the first real example of real combination of this analog and digital. Uh, in one product. So it's a high resolution uh, audio interface with analog sound. Meet Apollo, the first professional high resolution audio interface to deliver the sound, feel, and flow of analog recording. With premium mic preamps and top end converters, 
Apollo builds upon decades of UA hardware design heritage, giving you class-leading sound. This 18x24 Firewire and Thunderbolt Ready interface is the perfect centerpiece of a modern Mac or PC-based studio. And with its onboard UAD plug-in processing, Apollo lets you track in real time with colorful analog tones for inspired recordings. Apollo incorporates numerous design hallmarks from classic UA analog gear. Front panel controls are present for all the most common features, including preamp gain, channel selection, monitor level, and dual stereo headphone outs. Rear panel connections include four digitally controlled analog mic preamps, eight balanced line ins and outs, digitally controlled analog monitor outs, plus word clock, SPDIF, Firewire 800, and eight channels of ADAT. Apollo's console app lets you track audio with near instant latency using classic plugins from Ampex, Manly, Lexicon, Neve, and more. During mixing, Apollo's onboard UAD plugin processing takes the load off your host computer. Then, like a digital time capsule, its console recall plugin lets you store all interface and UAD plugin settings within your sessions, recalling them even months to years later. Whether using Pro Tools, Logic, Cubase, Performer, or other major DAWs, Apollo brings breakthrough flexibility and tone to all your recordings. Add the user installable Thunderbolt I.O. card for even lower latency and greater UAD plugin counts on the newest Macs and PCs. Welcome to Apollo, the high resolution audio interface with classic analog sound. Only from Universal Audio. Um, probably with those um, the screen replicators. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There isn't an app for it. Firewire. Yeah. Power를 미지언한다고 아까 말씀했었는데. Yeah. Thunderbolt power는. Yeah. Thunderbolt는 버스 파워죠. 그러면은 저기 아답터 없이. 아답터는 있어야죠. 여기 그러니까 일단 앞으로는 무조건 파워 연결돼 있어야 되고요. 다른 기기들 여기다 데이지 채널 기기들은 파워가 이제 버스 파워 제공. 아직 윈도우 세븐에서는 아그 윈도우 PC 기반에서는 썬더볼트 인터페이스가 아직 확장 카드로 지원 안 그렇죠. 근데 그게 어떤 거냐면 그러니까 인텔에서 이번에 그 IB 브릿지라고 새로 나와요. 네. 그 브릿지 그 칩셋 안에 썬더볼트가 내장이 돼 있어. 그러니까 이게 앞으로는 PC에서도 그냥 기본으로 지원이 될 거예요. It's coming very soon. Approximately how how many plugins could it upload? Um, the same, almost the same as a quad. So, for instance, we use we use, we use um, the 88RS, which is a channel strip for D. It's like everything. It's like a gate, compressor, EQ, filters. It's like a set, and it kind of represents uh, a way we can count. Um, so, a solo can do about 32 of those. A duo can do 64, and a quad can do 128. It can do a lot. But some plugins are very heavy. Like the oh. Manly, Manly Massive Passive. Okay. If you don't know what that is, that's a $6,000 uh, stereo um, tube EQ. And it's ridiculous. Okay. It's ridiculous. The amount of stuff that it, it, it's doing. Um, it's like a Poltec, but it's a super Poltec. Okay. And so that one, it, um, I think uh, we can only run two per chip, so you can only run eight. But if you wanted to buy that, that would cost you uh, $48,000. <laughs> I think it's okay. And most times you use it on a two bus for mastering it. So in general, you can do a lot of mixing with the quad. Almost, you should have no problem. And of course, you can still use other plugins.